Hi, my name is Caitlin Mankin, and I did my presentation over Christina's World by Andrew Wyeth. Um, it was done in 1948, and currently it is at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Um, a little bit of background of the picture. This picture is um, painted of a girl named Christina Olsen. She was 50 years old when this picture was painted and she has uh, multiple sclerosis and so she is wheelchair bound but she does not like to use her wheelchair so she decided to crawl um, everywhere including her house around the field around her farm um, she lived with her older brother and Andrew Wyeth the artist spent his summers in Maine, which this is where the picture, the painting took place, was in Maine. And he and his, at the time, girlfriend, who he later on, later on married, her name is Betsy, they spent their summers in Maine. And that's how Andrew met Christina, the uh, subject of the painting, was through his girlfriend, Betsy. And uh, Betsy was actually the one that um, modeled for him in the picture for Christina's head and torso. So her arms and her waist down, that is um, Christina, but the torso and the head um, was modeled by um, Betsy. So this painting, again, it's called Christina's World by Andrew Wayeth. <clears throat> First, it's a tempura on canvas, and when you look at it, there's not that much going on with the picture. It's in an open field. Half of the field looks maintained. The other half looks overgrown, and um, you see her house in the distance with a barn, uh, maybe a shed. There's a fence, and you can see the tire marks. Um, So, and then you see Christina that's in the forefront, and she has her pale pink dress on and um, black shoes. Her hair's kind of in a messy bun. And if you look close at her hands, you can see that her hands look dirty and very aged and worn out, probably because that's, you know, she uses her hands to drag herself everywhere that she goes and so you can just see how her hands reflect that and her arms are very skinny and um, her skin color on her arms and her legs are very pale almost you know she almost looks malnourished um, the picture it almost looks colorless you have some green and some um, light uh, yellow color, tan color, a little bit of red in some areas, kind of showing that maybe the grass is dying or, you know, it's springtime. It's just now starting to come back alive. And um, so when you look at the picture, you can tell that there the picture is has a strong unity. You can tell that everything is there for a reason. It belongs together. And you can tell that Christina has a strong relationship with this land and her home. And um you can just tell, you know, just even the look on her hands. She does a lot of work out in the field, in the farm, and in her home. And, she, you know, she is very well connected to um, her property. Everything is in proportionate to each other. You know, her head is in proportion with her body. Her body is in proportion with the land. You know, you can tell... The home is off in the distance, and the barn is off in the distance. So everything 
just adds up to one another and equals equals each other out. Um, one of the one of the things that I see a lot are vertical lines. You know, vertical lines from the grass to the fence. Um, you know, the home. You see a lot of uh, vertical lines more than horizontal lines. You can tell that this painting is kind of taking place in the late afternoon. The sun is shining directly on her back. And it kind of looks like it's, you know, starting to set that way. It's not shining down from on top of her, but from behind her. So it kind of looks like late afternoon, early evening, right when the sun is probably starting to set. Um, so about, about this picture, I think Andrew Wyeth had, um, a meaning for this pic for this painting and I think one of the reasons why he did this was to show what Christina has to go through every day and give awareness for disabilities and for uh, multiple sclerosis and just kind of show us what we take for granted every day that some people don't have and just her determination even though she does have this disability it doesn't hold her back from doing what she needs to do to maintain her home and her property and just how um, strong she really is um, so it kind of shows what she goes through every single day. And when I look at this picture, it kind of brings me a sense of peace. I've always loved the outdoors and I always wanted to, you know, live in the country. And so seeing this, it kind of, you know, brings me a sense of peace and it looks peaceful and um, calming. And it also, you know, makes you know I feel bad for Christina you know seeing what she has to go through she's a you know a long distance from her home in this painting but you can tell that she is determined to get there and she will get there and um, so I do like this picture a lot I would hang this picture in my home um, if I could, I think it just brings, you know, that sense of peace, but it also brings that awareness of, you know, the daily struggle for someone. And so, um, it just kind of would be that daily reminder of what we take for granted and how lucky that we are to be able to get up and walk to where we need to go. And... Um, it would just be that reminder every day of, you know, don't take your life for granted. And so, um, that is my, um, presentation. Thank you so much.